Guys, we gotta repent. Life isn't a laughing matter, it's a serious business. We gotta repent or we will go to hell. Live serious. Come to Jesus. Then you will be saved. And the smoke of their torment stands up forever. An artist from South Korea was taken to hell by the Lord Jesus himself. This artist has been attending all night prayer meetings since April of 2009 and continues to do so. It has been over one year. As I prayed during these all night meetings, I grew to love Jesus more than ever. One day, Jesus came and said in my heart, I will show you the deeper things of heaven. I thought I was going to visit heaven, but instead I had visited hell. As soon as Jesus spoke into my heart, we entered into the spiritual realm. But Jesus took me and he showed me hell first. As I followed Jesus, I cried the whole time. Spirits of snakes are filled in the alcoholic drinks and in cigarettes that people smoke. Jesus took many people and showed them hell. I see countless people falling into the eternal deep sea of the fire of hell every single day. Tell the people what you have witnessed in hell. Tell the people how awful and gruesome hell is. You must paint the scene of hell as if you are looking through the pain of my aching heart. I then began to hear moans, screams, and wailing sounds. Most people have a misconception about hell. They're deluded and many people think only if you believe in Jesus Christ they will end up in heaven. Some even think that once they die, that will be it. Nothing. Many believe as they think, therefore, they live their lives as they desire. As people watch violent, secular movies, demons would actually torment the person's soul without the person realizing or knowing it. As the person watches the scenes from TV, their soul is in torment and in pain. The soul is damaged and wounded. Watching secular TV actually hinders a Christian's loving relationship with God our bridegroom, Jesus. We can watch some news once in a while, but do not watch secular TV. As Jesus witnessed the sins committed by man, he cried. Satan and his demons would tie the bodies of sinners so tight with iron chains and they would control us. Therefore, sinners would go deeper and deeper in sin. I'm pleading with you, do not commit sin. Do not live as you desire. In hell, the senses are hundreds of times more vivid than you actually feel in the physical realm, so the pain is more severe. This drawing shows people falling into the fire of hell. Draw this as if you are looking through my aching heart. As I was painting the scenes of hell, Satan attacked me severely. But I wanted to shout out to the world with Jesus' heart through these paintings. I wanted to deliver the aching heart of Jesus and how he felt so pitiful about those people who are falling down into hell every single day. These drawings show people being tormented on the cross. This shows the result of not wanting to eat the bread of life, God's precious word. This person did not want to eat the bread of life, God's word. This drawing depicts people who disregarded the will of Jesus and made their own decisions and pursued their own will. This drawing shows people who drank, partook in the evil of life, and ate prohibited things. Show the people the consequence of wounding the hearts of their brothers and sisters in Christ by their careless words. They must not be careless with their words. This drawing depicts the consequences of not speaking with care or love. The penalty for lying is severe. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 states, All liars shall have their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second 
death. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 10 states, Do not be deceived. Thieves will not inherit the kingdom of God. People who steal money will be tortured by needles. These next two drawings depict the persecution of the messengers of the full and true gospel of the Most High God. This drawing shows how murderers, rapists, and child kidnappers will be tormented. This woman is able to see outside of hell from the inside. She says, If only I could get out of here. But there is no escape from hell. Again, there is no escape from hell. This particular place in hell is for people who have committed sins by their own thoughts that were contrary to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. They are covered by countless maggots. Their whole bodies are wounded by insects. The maggots and insects in hell are so much bigger in size compared to earthly ones. Thousands of maggots and insects are going in and out of this person's mouth, ears, and head. They crawl throughout the entire body. These people were filled with their own thoughts and knowledge that were contrary to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. This place in hell is for people who stubbornly adhere to their own philosophies and deceitful traditions of man and not after Christ. Those people who do not attempt to align their thoughts with God's will end up in hell. We must fix our mind and thoughts on Christ. These are also people who violate God's word and ignore God's commandments. They will be fried on a frying pan in hell that is filled by hell's fire. This part of hell is for people who did not spread or share the gospel. They did not evangelize the lost with the good news of Jesus Christ. This torment is for people who had ignored God's word and continued to commit sin. They are the ones who had performed evil in the eyes of the Lord. This part of hell is for people who complain and grumble, even silently in their own hearts. This place is for people who had complained and grumbled in their hearts. This place of hell is for men who had a family but cheated on their spouses or became gay or bisexual. They will be tortured by knives and spears. This drawing shows men who were sexually corrupted. Their private parts will be pierced every second. This hell is for people who worshiped idols, had evil thoughts, and were unbending in their evil ways. Revelation chapter 14 verse 11 states, Hell is endless. The smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever. They have no rest, day or night. If you do not repent, Jesus said in Luke chapter 13 verse 3, I tell you, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. The woman and the boy in this painting were a mother and son when they lived on earth. But because of the unbearable pain, they did not love each other. Now in hell, they try to escape the torment by stepping on top of each other. Jesus says, Focus on me. Focus only on me. Take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and crucify the flesh. Kill Satan or the devil that is living inside of you. This drawing shows us when we pray before God and repent, the armies of angels will come down and pierce the demons with their swords. Don't go to hell!